Participants, Linda, hold on, give me one second. Linda, 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 okay. That's, no, me post, okay. Change host, okay. Perfect. All right, my friends, so happy Monday. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. I want this to be a very conversational team huddle. Like that's always my goal to have a conversational one and not a teaching one. Um, and so, uh, what I want to do is I want to give you guys some tips um, that have been working for me recently. Yes. Um, that have been working for me recently. Um, you know, just as I'm going through, as many of you know, I'm very pregnant. Um, and I want to apologize to you guys if I've been a little bit MIA with you guys. It's been hard because I've also gotten the COVID like lingering symptoms. So I got this terrible sinus thing going on. It's just, it's a mess. I just cannot wait to take this child out. Um, but you know, if you've reached out to me and I've kind of been a little MIA, I've been, I've been best friends with my bed the last few days and the last few weeks. And it's been really hard, but I will bounce back because just like, I'm going to give you guys some, some tips right now. I have been interviewing nannies that I'm going to be, I'm going to be hiring a full-time nanny so that I can get back to myself. Like with Savannah last year, two years ago, I hired a full-time nanny and I was able to bounce back quicker uh, because I had my space of time to be able to do my things. And you know, the time that, she, that, that the nanny was home, I was able to, to do everything and then spend time with my baby once she was gone, right? So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. But I wanna talk a little bit about structure today because I feel like in this kind of business, you don't have a boss, okay? When you go to a corporate job and you go to your cubicle or your office, the job is waiting for you on the table. You got reports to run, you're, 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 you got a bunch of emails to respond to, you have all of these things. The momentum has been created for you. And so when a lot of people come from corporate into this kind of business, it's kind of like a slap in the face because nobody's gonna be there to tell you what to do. I'm not gonna be there to tell you what to do and your mentorship team is not gonna be there to tell you what to do. All we can do is provide suggestions and action steps for you to grow this business, but it is so easy to get distracted at home. If you work from home, let me tell you, laundry is waiting for you, dishes are there, you gotta cook, you gotta do all these things and it is so easy to get distracted. Put a one in the chat if you've gotten super distracted, like if you know how easy it is to get distracted when you're working from home right yes yes and the thing is you forget to work because you don't have your manager on your butt like hey chanda what are you doing i mean what, what do you mean you're about to paint a wall right now you know go answer all those emails or go run that report i told you to run right so it's very easy to get super distracted and we need to create structure. We need to create, many of you guys are reading the Atomic Habits book with us, and you know that that daily 1% of getting better every single day is super powerful in this business as well. Not just in our bodies, but in this business. What are you doing every single day to help you achieve the goals that you want? What are the action steps that you're doing? Are you are you doing busy work or are you doing income producing activities? Because there can be busy work and there can be income producing activities, right? There can be two types of activities. The busy activities where you're, you're preparing everything in your desk. Crap, I need to buy staples. I'm gonna go to staples right now because I need staples, I need folders, I need binders, I need all of these things to keep myself organized. That's the busy work. Or you know what, I need to start conversations right now because it's already what, 12 o'clock and I haven't started a single conversation. It is up to you what activities you're gonna do. But in this business, if you don't have structure, if you're lacking structure, and it doesn't matter what the season in your life looks like right now, whether you're working 40 hours, or whether you're a stay-at-home mom, let me tell you something. Sometimes people think stay-at-home moms have it easy. I used to be one of those that thought that. Heck no, your work is 24 seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, there's no clock outs. There is no clock outs and these little people expect your attention all the time, you know? So there is, so there is that. So it's important that we create the structure. So I'm going to give you guys a few tips right now, and then I'm going to open it up to you guys because I want to hear what is working for you guys as well. Okay. One of the most important things is that you plan your day the night before. Okay. Spend five minutes, five to 10 minutes the night before seeing what your day is going to look like the next day. Okay. Is it client support day? 
right? We have four cornerstones in this business. It's client acquisition, client support, client, uh, coach acquisition, coach support. Is it client acquisition mode? Am I going to start conversations tomorrow? Am I going to support my clients tomorrow? Is tomorrow my time for my coaches? Is the next day my time to support my coaches or to acquire coaches? You need to plan your day the day before, the night before. Okay, if you have Instagram stories you're gonna post and you've maybe copied Chanda stories or Melinda stories or Ashley stories because they're before and afters, make sure you screenshot those and have them ready to go. Okay, have them ready to go for the morning time. Your power post, do you know what you're gonna be posting the next day? Right, having all of this prepared the night before is gonna lead up to you winning the next morning. Okay, get up early and have a routine. Okay. And I'm preaching to myself right over here. It's been really hard for me to get up early, you know, cause Jane, uh, Savannah's regressing her sleep and I'm like, what the heck, you know, but get up early in the morning if you can. Okay. Wake up early, make yourself a cup of coffee. You guys, the best time is when nobody's bothering you. I love waking up around 6 15 in the morning. The house is quiet. There's not a soul up. The sun is still down and it's all me. Self-care routine in the morning is so important. It is so vital that you have some sort of morning routine. Whether you read the Bible, whether you spend in time in meditation, whether you have your personal development book, whatever it is, I would encourage you to even try to stay away from your phone for an hour in the morning. When you do that, you are winning for you and nobody else. Okay. So try to create that morning routine where you spend some time med meditating, you're doing yoga, whatever it is that it looks like for you, self-care morning routine is going to be powerful. Another tip in there, make your bed, okay? Make your bed in the morning. Trust me when I tell you if all else fails because you had an off morning, but you walk into your bedroom and that bed is made, it's, there's something magical about that. So make your beds in the morning, okay? Most important thing is to time block uh, for family activities, or time block your family time, okay? For me, my family, my mornings are in red. I don't have conversations with anybody until all the children are dropped off at school because I wanna make sure that I give them my undivided attention. They get breakfast from mommy, I prep their lunches, I drop them off at school, I give them a kiss and I drop them off and then it's work mode time. Okay. So whatever that looks like for you, building a business around who matters most to you is the most important thing. And blocking those times is super vital for your family. And I don't care what that looks like. And if you have to put your phone in a drawer, you have to put your phone in a drawer. Okay. You have to be intentional because all of us here, if you are seriously building this business, we already, already have the bad habit of always being on our phones. And let me tell you, it annoys the hell out of our families. Okay. Sometimes James is talking to you. I'm like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I'm like texting one of you. He's like, dude, seriously. He's like, I'm talking to you about refinancing and you're texting Linda or whatever. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I didn't even notice it. You know what I'm saying? So if you have to, if you're going to spend time with your significant other, with your children, put your phone away. And he'll accept me. No, yeah, you, you're the one that gets me the most in trouble. So put your phones away, like literally put your phone away to spend time with your family. It is absolutely vital. Okay. Time block for business building activities. Like I said, okay. If you're going to block an hour a day of your time to build this business, because that is all you have, because you work from eight to five and you are a busy mom, you got to get home. You got to make dinner. You know, you got to get that bedtime routine going. And all you have is 30 minutes, 45 minutes for that one hour. What are you going to do with your time? Are you gonna sit and are you gonna scroll wondering who you're gonna to talk to for those 30 minutes? Or are you gonna have an intentional list of people that you're gonna to talk to because you planned the night before? Because you planned that the night before, that one hour you were, you were gonna work on it, you have the people you're gonna to talk to, so you're not gonna spend time scrolling, right? You have the people you're gonna go get the word out to. This is important that you create intentional time for building business activities, okay? Because sometimes, like, like, James tells me, sometimes he goes, Priscilla, he goes, sometimes you work hard and not smart. And that can be very easily, that line is very easily meshed where I think I've had a successful day of work, but I really haven't because all I did was scroll 
figure out who I was going to talk to, go through the little bubble stories, figure out who I was going to talk to. That's not a successful day of work. That was me wasting a lot of the day trying to figure out who I was going to talk to, trying to figure out who I was going to add. But if you're intentional the night before or you're intentional with a list, now you're maximizing your building, building business activity time. Okay. So work hard and work smart, not hard. Okay. If you only have one hour a day to work because everything else depends on you, life depends on you. If you only have one hour a day, use that hour super wisely. Okay. If you can only give what, if you can only devote one day a week for boot camp, then do that. If, if, if today you only have today for like that hour, like say daily, don't do boot camps every day. Don't do trainings every day. That for me personally is busy activities. Okay. Action is more powerful, more important than busy activities. Action is more powerful than boot camps. Boot camps are great. They're wonderful because you learn and you get a lot, you glean from other people, but it's not the end all be all. The end all be all is going to be the action that you create every single day to create the momentum in the business that you want. Okay. So boot the boot camps. And if you need to catch up on a boot camp, catch up on a boot camp on Saturday or Sunday, but Monday through Friday, you're going to be intentional because social media does slow down in the weekend and it's hard for people to conversate with you because they're with family, they're out with friends and everything. So that's a time to catch up in your boot camps in the weekends. Okay. Do delete, delegate and delay. Okay. Look at your calendar. Do delete, delegate and delay. Okay. What are some things that you simply have to do? Nobody else can do them for you. Ashley, I know you have Kelsey. You probably have to go drop Kelsey off at school. That's something she cannot delegate. She has to do that. But what is something she can delegate? This morning, I had 20 bags of Instacart in front of my house. I bought a ton of groceries this morning and they all came to my, to my, to my, to my door. Why? Because if I don't do that, I will spend two to three hours at the grocery store. And I think, how much is my time worth? If, if I'm at the grocery store, say, you know, say I'm at the grocery store for three hours and say my time is worth maybe $60 an hour, right? I just spent $120, no more, $180 like in time at the grocery store looking for stuff when someone else can do that for me. So you want to delegate stuff, right? And I get it right now. You're, a lot of us are probably in the building part of our business, but the little that you can do, reinvest it back into your business. Don't think scarcity mindset where uh, Instacart is a little bit too much for me. When I look at the hours that I have saved in this last year, it's over 200 hours. I'm so thankful for Instacart because I have literally saved myself to last year. I saved myself about 200 and something, something hours of not going to the grocery store the entire year. That's a lot of time. So delegate where you can delegate, right? If you can have someone come clean your house once every couple of weeks, you know, where she does the details or he does the details of the house, do that because that takes so much time too. And the money that you make in this business, you reinvest it back in that, right? So that's delegating. Deleting. Is there certain things in your calendar that are not necessary? You just have them there because it's been there for a while right? What is not necessary in that calendar? What wastes your time? Okay. I'll be honest with you guys. I got hooked on Emily in Paris on Netflix. Okay. I don't know who introduced me to the show, but when I got, co oh, this cause I had COVID. And so I was sitting there watching and I told James, I'm like, I have to finish the whole series before I get out of this bed. I'm like, because then I'm screwed if I don't, you know? So you want to, you definitely want to delete stuff that is not going to serve you today. Talking to Linda in the morning, she told me, I don't watch TV anymore at all. I'd rather read. I prefer to read. That's a powerful shift she had in her life because TV, Netflix, Amazon, all of these things is a waste of time. When I see people post on, on social media, give me your best shows. I'm like, go do something better with your time. Go read and get better. You know what I'm saying? Like go, go. And I get it. Some people need that to relax, but the problem is it's such a slippery slope where if you get into, if you get into one season, you get obsessed and you will be there for hours binging on that show if you're not careful. Right. And if you're not binging on the show, you're thinking, crap, there's three more episodes. What's going to happen? I need to see the next one, you know, or whatever. So it's important that you're careful with your time. Delete the things that are not necessary. Okay. Delay the things that you can delete. Delay. Are there certain things in your calendar where they're not, they don't have to be done at that time because there's other stuff that's priority. Delay it. You can shift your rocks around, right? Like 
I'll give you guys an example. Income producing activities is a must, but there's not a specific time where it's a must. You can shift that. If you have a, if Ashley has a doctor's appointment with Kelsey, but her hour is from 10 to 11, you can delay that to two to three or three to four. And you know, that's your hour. You're delaying what you have to do that day because you have another priority, but it doesn't mean you get rid of that rock on your calendar. You're just delaying it. Okay. So that's important that you guys do delete, delegate and delay. Okay. Do you need to arrange a babysitter? Like, do you need a babysitter? If you have littles, do you need a babysitter to come watch your kids for a little bit, right? You can, I mean, high schoolers are always looking for jobs. If you can have someone, maybe a friend that you know who has a high schooler come watch your kids for a couple of hours a day, that can be your income producing activity time. You know, if you need someone to watch your kids, some, some of us have the privilege of having our moms there or family there and they can watch our kids. But if not, or even your spouse, you know, right now I haven't hired anyone because James is so good at watching the kids for me. When I need him to watch them, I drop them all off there with him and I'm good. Right. But there are certain times where I do need a babysitter and I need someone to watch my kids because he'll be out of town or whatever. So make sure that if you need a babysitter, you get one. Okay. Coordinate your calendar with your spouse. This one is so important, okay? Even outside of the business, it is so important that you have a calendar with your spouse. I remember my aunt giving me this advice early on in my marriage. She was like, have a family calendar where you and James can see everything in your calendars so that you know not to book certain things. Because sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, Deborah, you want to go for coffee? Let's go. And then James is like, what? Like, what do you mean you're going for coffee with Deborah? I have to watch Savannah, you know? Like, I mean, I have a call. I can't watch Savannah for you. I can't do this for you. So it's important that you coordinate your calendar with your spouse, with your significant other, or whoever you share, you share a life with. It's important that you coordinate these. Because if you don't do this, you guys, it's going to be... It's going to be hard. Okay. And then I want to encourage you guys to plan your week ahead as well. Okay. Super important that you plan your week ahead because when you plan the week ahead, I was talking to Nielka the other day and she was just like, I don't know how to come up with like content. Like, you know, during the week I said, don't spend 30 minutes on Saturday morning figuring out what you're going to post Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, figure out if on Thursday, I'm going to post a, a recipe, you know, inspire health has a ton of recipes you can post. You know, Inspire Health has a ton of before and afters you can post. Decide what your power posts are going to look like every single week on Saturday morning. Dude, if you prepare on Saturday morning, you're going to win. You're going to win your week. Like, that's how simple it is. That's how it works. I have a client who, like, kept falling and falling and falling. And I told her, you need to, you need to prepare Saturday. Like if Saturday's your day off, you have to decide what your leaning greens are going to look like every single week. Well, ever since she did that, you know, for the last three weeks, she has consistently been sticking to the plan because she has a plan. If you don't have a plan, you're going to fail. Simple as that. Okay. So I want to encourage you guys to do that. I want to encourage you guys to plan as much as you possibly can for advance in the week so that when the week does come, you know what to do and you're not mindlessly wasting time thinking you're working, but you're really not working. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and like I said, like sometimes I'm like, ah, I had such a productive day. And then I look back and I'm like, oh, that was not productive at all. You know, like I, I really spent, I did talk, start 20 conversations, but it took me all day to figure out who the people were going to be. I was going to talk to. So you want to win your day. You want to win your week by actually preparing. Okay. Also, I want to encourage you guys to have, last but not least, I want to encourage you guys to have monthly plans, okay? This is what our monthly acquisition plan is for. Your map is for this. It's for you to figure out what you want to do in your business that month. All right. I always tell brand new coaches, we don't just kind of grab uh, one of those, what are those things, the dart thingies that you throw up in the air? What are they called? Huh? I can't. Somebody. Darts. 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 Okay laughing at me. You know, one of those dart thingies, right? You don't just kind of throw a dart in the air and figure out and hope it's going to land somewhere amazing, right? There's always a center where you have to throw it to. There's always a goal where you have to throw it to. It's the same in this business. You know, when people tell me in meet and greets, I, you know, I just kind of like want to help a few people. I always say, no, I, I need a goal because we, we need to have a sort a, a sense of purpose and a sense of direction. And we need to know where we're going. 
Okay, yes, an arrow. Thank you, Kim. Exactly. The arrow's going somewhere. It has to point somewhere, right? Have you seen those Robin Hood movies where they, they shoot them in the air? It's like nobody knows where it's going to go. Nobody knows where it's going to land. You don't want that to be your business. You want to have a sense of purpose and direction in your business. So your monthly acquisition plan is going to be powerful for that. And I will be the first to tell you guys, I hated my map. Like Jamil straight up like, dude, where's your map? I'm like, I don't even want to see my map because my clients, my clients are like falling off like crazy. Like this is, I don't even want to see it. He's like, I don't care. This is part of business like this. You need the structure because a business is a business and we need to see where you're at and what you need to do. And you want to aim to grow anywhere between two to three points every single month. That's your goal, whether in front quality volume or in, you know, in helping coaches go senior coach. And then once you decide, okay, you know what? I want to grow two points this month. I think I'm going to grow in frontline volume about, you know, maybe one point or two points and then maybe one point in a senior coach because I have three people running for it. Now we reverse engineer that and we see what are the things we need to do to achieve those goals for that month. Okay. So creating a map, a roadmap is going to be powerful for you and looking at that thing every single day, you know, and I love it because like now, I mean, mine is like not super long, my, my FQV one, but like, I love it because I'm like, oh, this girl canceled. So I highlighted in red. I'm like, okay, I need to replace that line, right? Okay. This girl just processed. So I highlighted in yellow and that way you kind of know and you kind of figure where your business is going by the end of the month. Okay. So Anyway, these are the few tips that I have for you guys. We have like five minutes left. I'm so sorry. I spoke as quickly as I possibly can. Does anybody have any more tips that is working for them or that's helping them out in their business? Anisha, go girl. Like what they printed up for us in the boot camp, I think is super helpful because you take the guessing game out of what do I post today? It tells you in advance. You can look at it the day before, like you said and have a plan and I thought like and what I like about it like what I was thinking about is sorry I have a baby um but what I was thinking about is that you can recycle these like okay so this was week one like once all of this is up start back from the beginning and keep going so you constantly are in a process of doing all of these things so yes love it so good Anisha yes there's a lot of content a lot of resources in that boot camp group for sure anybody else Hi, how are hey, you, everyone? I've been uh, since two weeks ago, every Sunday or Saturday afternoon, when I see that, I don't know if Carlos, my son is here or my boyfriend, and they're watching TV, and I'm like, just like, what I'm going to do now, right? <laughs> Instead of being there, not doing nothing, just like to be with them, right? Because I know they're watching a movie or something. I start planning my post for all the week. By Sunday, I have planned all the, post, the, the power posts that I have, and it's much easier just to plan ahead and post them every single day. So for Monday, I, I, don't want, I know what I'm going to post for Tuesday, for Wednesday, till Friday, and then I just have to worry about the stories, which is more quickly the ones that, I, that you post, like, and you, you make them in the minute that you, that you watch something or you're doing something. It's I mean, for me, it has made the whole difference because I just focus on what I need to do and it's more effective, I think. And it's, it's amazing. I love that. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're setting yourself up in the weekend for the rest of the week. That's absolutely powerful. That's so good, Miriam. Ashley, what were you going to say? So <clears throat> I went to the Dollar Tree. Actually, it's Dollar Twenty Five Tree now. Uh, <laughs> and I just got a, like cheap planner because I can take this to work and I plan my day like my days out and even down to like sending out the newsletter what my post is going to be I have it down to um on what day where I'm going to add friends from what group so I go in like fully intentional with my power hour and that's really what I've been learning in that boot camp of like being super um intentional and then I also went in my phone and my photos and I created a folder for upcoming posts like story ideas so that way I can just when it's time to post I go there and I don't got to go sitting there scrolling through my phone because I screenshotted so much stuff that boom it's right there and I'm done and that's all because Kelsey's singing and y'all don't want to really hear that <laughs> 
That's awesome, Ashley. That's good. Yeah, get yourself a cheap calendar and just use that. Utilize it for real. Anybody else? What's working for you? Come here. Any Elka? What? You, you, oh, I'm sorry. Did I unmute myself? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That and was a mistake. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Can I go? I want to yeah, pick on that. Yeah, I want to use something you said and even elaborate on that, you guys. So Priscilla said like $60 an hour, right? And if she orders the Instacart, which is amazing, I'm doing that too. And it saves you money too because you don't buy unnecessary stuff when you're ordering online. So here's the thing. Imagine, you guys, and if you attach a dollar amount to your time, whatever it is, a hundred. $200 because our time is so valuable. We can do so much with it, right? If you attach a value to that and you ask yourself any situation, okay, from now on, any situation, whether it's a health assessment or it's, is this worth so and so much dollar amount? Ask yourself and make good choices. You know, that way you're going to not waste as much time and you're going to be a lot more intentional, you know, and we know how it goes. You know, I mean, I don't need to say anything. Breaking Bad. I watched the entire Breaking Bad, maybe in a, two weeks, all of the season. So stay away from Netflix. Focus on your work. And the map, Priscilla said the map, you guys, the map is kind of like, you know, when you think about social media, like we have about 5,000 friends, right? That's so big. And you think about it, you're like, oh my God, how am I going to get a handle on all of those people? The map is a smaller version of it that helps you be more focused. And you really need to focus on those people. That's it. Just take it and just focus on that. So I hated doing my map. I fought it as much as I could, but now that I'm doing it, I'm realizing how much easier it is. So I can only encourage you guys. That's all. I didn't want to add anything new, but I wanted to make sure that you guys understand really how important this stuff is. So good, Linda. Yeah, that's so good. You know, sometimes I see people go get in line for like a burger for 65 cents because it's like the anniversary of the, of the chain or whatever. And I see people in line for three hours to get a burger for 65 cents. And I'm like, is that worth the 65 cents for those three hours? Are you kidding me? No, I'm gonna go pay the combo inside and go back home, you know? But people don't realize that their time is worth something. It really is, and especially as health coaches for us, our time is very valuable, especially if you're a mom, if you have different roles in your life, you know, our, our, our roles are very valuable. So anybody else, we can wrap it up with a couple more people before we go. There's one thing, picking back on all the things that you and Linda said. Um, I think in the last call this past week, when we were going over the Atomic Habits um, <clears throat> Chapter 4, we were talking about, we did a little exercise about just like getting a chunk of your day and basically honoring it. So with the same concept that Linda's having about your time is worth it, then start looking, like you said, in activities. But maybe this week you guys can challenge yourself to say, by Sunday, I want to make sure that I audited my whole week and literally plug them, but not say, oh yeah, I'll check it out. No, like make yourself to be having the goal to really do it this week, mm -hmm. not leaving it for later, for tomorrow, for when you have time, schedule time in your calendar to edit your entire calendar and you're going to find cash all over the place there. So I think that's something I'm going to put myself a goal to be doing this week. So if anybody wants to go with me, we can do it together. So good. Honor your time with yourself. Spend some time with yourself doing that. That's wonderful. All right, guys. Last tips. Anybody else? Can I just ask one thing? I don't want to be the annoying person, but you guys, if you could do us a favor and everybody put a picture on your Zoom so that when your videos are off, it looks really nice when we take a picture. Would that be okay? I don't know That's how good. to do it. Can you help me with that? I'll post a video. Thank there you. you go. Yeah. Dennis, what were you going to say? Quickly, because we're four minutes over. Sorry, guys. You're muted. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's also the two and a half hours are marked off. And so, and uh, it makes it very handy. This particular item, it's sitting right here on the speaker. Yes. So, uh, and we got a clock right above it. 
two and a half hours because because that's the main thing we need to take care of ourselves yeah that's really good then is that's like her, uh, his win the day card you know having your win the day card and having all the things that you're going to do that day in front of you that's really good dennis i hadn't even talked about that but that's really good have a win the day card or like a list of things that you're going to do for that day and mark them off that's so good thanks dennis all right guys well our time's up i took five more minutes of your time i apologize about that but thank you so much for spending time with us i'm going to upload this tonight after i put these three kids down for bed but you guys honor your time honor your time okay like if you're in this business and you really want to create something big you're gonna to have to be strategic with your time and i mean i I'm, I'm coming from a place where i got three kids you guys and one on the way okay and they're high maintenance all of them linda knows that she sees them on zoom all the time you know they're super high maintenance but you know what it's important to create those boundaries for your business it's important that whatever else that you do you create boundaries for your business and i gotta give anielka a shout out for that because this girl's got four kids she's got two in varsity she's got two Two littles I mean and she does not put her dreams in the back burner she will find a way to work the business and never makes her why her excuse why she's not gonna keep going and so we need to honor that too for ourselves whatever that may look like for you guys you know honor your time honor your dreams honor the things you want to create and the things you want to achieve because they're worth it the first thing we put away when life gets hard is the things that we want that's the first thing we put away so I want to encourage you guys to just be smart with your time. Look at your time. Be realistic. Like be real with yourself. You know, I used to hate it when Jamil would tell me, oh, it's because you're not really using your time wisely. I'm like, how dare you? And then I'd look at my messenger and be like, he's right. I'm not. I'm not talking to people. I'm spending so much time doing other things. You know what I'm saying? So it's important that we really laser focus and utilize our time wisely because we only get 24 hours a day. Every single one of us. How are you going to utilize those 24 hours a day? It's going to be up to you and it's going to show in your results. All right. Yes. So many inspiring women's Jamie. So true. You're so right. And yes, Anisha, keep killing it, my friend. I know it. It's crazy. I, I honor the moms on this call that do this because I know it's, it's a lot of work. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, happy Monday. We'll talk uh, next week and I'm going to put this recording up after I put these kids to sleep. Okay. Mwah. Love to you all. Bye.